All right, guys, first big nerd news story of the week. We sat down with director Kevin Smith for about a 45-minute interview a couple weeks ago, and uh, one of the major plot uh, uh, topics that we talked to Mr. Kevin Smith about was Clerks 3, where is he at in the production, and most importantly, what's the plot of Clerks 3? He broke it all down for us. We're going to show it to you right now. So here, without further ado, here's Kevin Smith talking about the plot of Clerks 3. Take a look. Um, I want to ask you, I mean, I, I know... Twilight uh, the Mall Rats is your big thing you're working on right now. Uh, a couple weeks ago, you did announce uh, some plans for Clerks 3. Yeah, yeah. Um, so my, I know you probably can't talk much about it, but I'm curious because you've said on record that uh, how, and I totally agree, how beautiful and poetic the ending of Clerks 2 was. Mm-hmm. It was just a lovely ending. You, you know, you said how that's how you wanted it to end with that dolly shot, turns to black and white, you got the milkmaid. I mean, all that stuff. What made you kind of want to go back to, to Dante and Randall? Oh, I was, I mean, look, you can end a movie with a lovely shot and be like, ah, that's good. But like, you know, once Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back was meant to be the end of the Busk universe, that's why God closes the book after the credits are all done. Alanis pops up, closes the book, and it's like, we're done forever. Um, and then like years later, when I went into Clerks 2, I wanted to grab Alanis to open it up with her opening the book, you know, because if you look very closely, and this is so stupid, but in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, God closes the book at the end of the movie. But the book is halfway done. It's not like you got to the end of the book and shit. So I always left myself like this back alley of like, no, 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 there's still more stories to tell. Um, Clerks 2, I love that ending shot and I love pulling into black and white. But the whole story of Clerks 2 is about like uh, seizing your destiny. Like, uh, you know, like I, I, I don't have to be somebody's employee. I could be my own boss and stuff like that. Uh, taking charge. But the last shot of Clerks 2 is very much like, be careful what you wish for. Because, like, you know, you see them go like, we're going to do this and this is what we need in life and this will be everything. And then as the camera pulls back and shit just goes to black and white, you realize that, like, you know, is it? Was that the greatest decision they'll ever make? Like, that's what movies don't tend to do. Movies end on the note of like, this was great and everything will be great for, for all time. That shot communicates like, you know, they they went far. They got out of that place. And then their idea of victory was owning that place. And then they they own it and they won. And then they're sitting there going like, did yeah. we? <laughs> so that kind of leads into where we are in Clerks 3. In Clerks 3, we open with uh, Randall having a massive heart attack. Um, I told Jeff Anderson that and he's like, where'd you get that idea? Um, he had a massive heart attack, and uh, when, he, when he's in recovery, uh, Dante's there, and uh, Randall's just like, I almost fucking died tonight. That was it. Like, I almost died. I'm 50 years old, and I almost fucking died, and I have nothing to show for my life. What, I own a piece of a fucking convenience store in New Jersey? This is bullshit. He's going, like, I, I wasted my entire life. I sat around watching movies my whole fucking life. Never built anything, and when I die, who's going to fucking talk about me? I never got married like you did. I don't have a fucking kid and shit. I'm alone in this fucking world. And he goes, well, no more, man. As soon as I get out of this hospital, I'm going to go home. And I'm going to write a fucking movie about my life, celebrating my fucking life, telling my fucking story. And we're going to shoot it in that fucking store. And you're going to help me. And so Dante and Randall essentially make Clerks. That's what Clerks 3 is about. How oh, my God. That, that's so exciting. So that's the opening. And then from there on in, like, there's a lot of. You know, there's ups and downs and epic shit. All right, so there you go. Just to kind of recap what Kevin said. And by the way, Kevin Smith, thank you very much for sitting down with us uh, at Mainframe Comic Con, Chocolate Comics. Basically, the plot is this. It is uh, art imitating life in a big, big way. <laughs> Randall from the Quick Stop, you know, uh, has a heart attack. Wonder where that idea came from. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, Kevin, so Randall has a heart attack. He has uh, an epiphany, uh, a moment of clarity. Where he's basically saying, you know, he's spent his whole adult life uh, wasting his time at the quick stop, sitting around just talking about movies his entire life. So he turns to Dante and says, you know what? Let's make our own movie about working at the quick stop. And I think they're actually going to call it Clerks. Oh my gosh, that's great. I think they're. <laughs> Dante and Randall are going to make a movie called Clerks. And that's going to be uh, the, the premise of the film is them making their own movie about working at a convenience store. What this a great is, idea. I know. And it, like you were saying, it's like art imitating life or yeah, art imitating yep. life because Kevin Smith, obviously we all know he had that heart attack and 
Yeah, this is going to be really... And then, of course, we all know he made Clerks, so yeah. <laughs> this is going to be exciting. I'm crazy excited about yeah. it, and I did like talking to Kevin Smith. We talked about a lot of stuff. We talked about the new Mall Rats 2. We talked mm-hmm. about uh, Avengers Endgame and all that stuff, so you can find that, I believe, on the Mainframe Comic Con website. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I mean, what a great idea for Clerks 3. I know. <laughs> Super excited, guys. So let us know in the comment section, how excited are you for Clerks 3? I don't think they've set a release date for it, but what do you think about this plot for Clerks 3? And basically what Kevin Smith said. I'm also curious, what do you think about the Mallrats 2? Mm-hmm. The Twilight of the Mallrats. Nice. Which is also uh, in production as we speak. So sound off in the comment section. Let us know. We'd like to hear your thoughts. So next big nerd news story of the week. I'm going to queue it up right here. Tom Cruise. Whoa. Going to space. <laughs> and I God. don't think he's going to stay. Uh, Tom Cruise <laughs> is set. This news came out this week that Tom is boldly going where no action star has ever gone before. Going into orbit. Oh, my gosh. To film a new action film. 